Now I'm going to show you why I love Keyscape and Trillion in combination with uh, UHE Diva. And uh, the feeling is, uh, it's quite sort of an authentic band feeling here. If I have Trillion, I have this Abram Laboreal bass. It's really nice. And in Keyscape I take this uh, Rhodes. And that's what was one of the reasons for me uh, to to buy it. Uh, well, the difference is uh, I have so many plugins, and uh, in this case, uh, it's one of the first times that I've got the feeling it's it's like playing in a band or recording a band. Yes. Uh, okay, I have studio drummer. Uh, he's doing the d uh, drums, and I have uh, UHE Divine. I'm gonna show some uh, diverse sorts of solo sound here. And there's also an, a different a trillium bass, it's uh, a fretless bass. And I have a clavinet from Keyscape and I have the piano of Keyscape. It's in here, yes. But you have to look out. Um, if you do an arrangement with Keyscape and Trillion, uh, it totally depends on which uh, instruments match each other in the arrangement. Where does it sit in the mix? And that was the hardest thing for, m for me to do. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it's the first time I I've get the feeling I I'm really <laughs> recording instrumentalists. And that makes quite a difference uh, to other plugins I'm using. Uh, you can use cr Trillion and Keyscape Cape within Omnisphere, uh, and uh, Diva is something extra here. I could have taken Omnisphere for that, but Omnisphere for me is not really the soloing sense. Diva is much better. I have this uh, uh, RF2 here, the Moog, I have a Novation Peak, but this was one of the first times that I've got a feeling uh, of hardware, playing hardware, as I d do have with Keyscape. Well, there's so many videos of Keyscape uh, and Trillion on the web where people are demonstrating it or playing just uh, like this, but rarely you hear it played in an arrangement, somebody composing an arra arrangement with it. So what did I do here? Um, I played in something like that. That was m my basic idea and uh, then came in the bass. And then you only need uh, these drums. And adding. And here we go. Uh, once you hear this synthesizer, it's really vivid. It's like it's alive. Uh, I was playing with the modulation wheel a, a little bit uh, and uh, uh, this is a weight uh, a keyboard uh, here, uh, so it's not that easy for synth playing. I should have used uh, the, the Rev2 for that authentic uh, um, synthesizer soloing. But uh, all in all, it's it's really a great, it's sort of a mojo, <laughs> yes? I got immediately got this feeling I'm playing in a band. Uh, in the end, I, I've uh, played a guitar in here, um, and for that I used the uh, Plini plugin uh, for the guitar. Just li listen to that. Yeah, okay, it sounds like that, but in the arrangement it sounds like a band. So let's listen to the whole track, and you're gonna see that I've uh, uh, put in a l some uh, reverence here. I put in a gate, a chorus, uh, and a ping pong delay, and uh, in th into the master, uh, I mastered the whole thing with uh, a zone. And uh, then I pu put it into uh, RX-7 by Isotope um, to uh, check some plops and some noises and everything was mastered like that. Uh, so let's listen to it and um, put up the mixer and you're going to see what's happening there. <laughs>
Okay, that's it. Uh, I think you've got an impression. It took me half an hour to do this. It's a scribble for a band, uh, but I'm not sure if a band could play that better. Uh, so, really recommend it, working with Keyscape. Uh, just a few tips uh, if you work with uh, uh, Keyscape, uh, like the roads here. Um, I also have a, a, a Modi X along with that. And if, if you stack it with the, the Modi X uh, roads, it's, it's even getting more intense, yeah? Uh, if we get in there. Okay, um, just the latency must be kind of the same. And uh, seamlessly you can mix them. This is also a nice option for live playing. So anyway, hope uh, you had some fun with that. And I was really satisfied with these plugins, and especially Keyscape and Trillion. It's, it's incredible. And Diva is sort of an uh, alternative to this. Normally, uh, on stage, I would always take this. Uh, but in studio, uh, with these MIDI capabilities and not fumbling around with all these MIDI uh, um, cables, it's, it's quite an option to use Diva. So have fun. Try it by yourself and uh, see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>